So my wife, she is pregnant right now with our second child. And uh, yeah, babies. So we're doing that thing now where we try to decide what the name should be for the baby. A lot of people say that you shouldn't name a baby until they're born, until you actually see the baby. Oh, he looks like a Steve. <laughs> we should name him Steve. I think that's stupid. If everyone did that, there'd be way too many kids in this world named Alien. Huh? Because it's terrifying. <laughs> so. so we have one daughter already. She is uh, just two years old now. And uh, as you can imagine, we have lots of books. Books where A is for apple and B is for banana and so forth. Ever notice how they never quite know what to do with the letter X? X is for, pff, I don't know, X-ray? X-ray. Somehow, I don't see that being very helpful to children. Okay, honey, remember, it's a form of electromagnetic radiation. Longer than a gamma ray, but shorter than a UV ray. Come on, you know this. I don't think you should ever trust your gut under any circumstances. Unless it's telling you that you've had too much to eat or maybe lay off the Indian food. And yet I keep hearing of people making big life decisions based on trusting their gut, their gut reaction, gut feeling. Okay, what does a gut know about anything, let alone big life decisions? Okay, gut, need your advice. Just got my law degree, head says corporate attorney, my heart says start my own practice. What do you say? Start a pizza restaurant. <laughs> start a pizza? Yes. Sell by the slice, make sure it's delicious. <laughs> I've got a law degree. Why would I? Give me pizza! <laughs> okay. Gonna trust my gut on this one. <laughs> Bad idea. I'm always hearing people say this. Great minds think alike. It, it's true, but you know, so do stupid minds. <laughs> so don't be so excited when someone agrees with you. It really doesn't mean anything. <laughs> Recently, I've heard a lot of people say, so-and-so must be rolling in his grave. Is that possible? Is this some stipulation people can write in their will? And when I die, I shall be buried in a rotisserie-style coffin. <laughs> and when something happens that I would disagree with, I shall be rotated as to make my body roll. <laughs> you wouldn't believe it, Frank. Girls are wearing pants nowadays. Thud, 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 thud. <laughs> and they have their own sports teams. Thud, 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 thud. <laughs> mm. It's a pretty... It's a pretty graphic image, really, but. So I love sports. I'm addicted to sports. But sports mascots don't make any sense. For example, did you know the Washington Wizards used to be called the Washington Bullets? But because bullets kill people, they had to change the name. They kill people. What do they think warriors do? Or raptors? In fact, the only thing protecting the humans from the raptors in Jurassic Park were the bullets. <laughs> and don't even act like the sun doesn't cause skin cancer. More people die of skin cancer in Phoenix and bullets kill wizards in Washington. Easy. <laughs> I'm proud to say that I'm neither a Democrat nor a Republican. Woo. All right, apathy. Woo. But I will say, Republicans seem just a little smarter when it comes to one thing. All right, folks, time to select your party mascots. Uh, Republicans, you may go first. Uh, we'll go with the uh, largest, most feared land mammal, whatever that is. Uh, 
guess you could be the elephant? Yeah, we'll be the elephant. Sure, why not? Okay, uh, Democrats, your turn to select. Yeah, we'll take the donkey. <laughs> you sure? <laughs> Maybe you could be a proud stag or a soaring eagle or really anything but what you just said. Now we're going with the donkey. Donkey all the way. I know that the Democratic Party, but do they have to decide their mascot at an actual party? I think we should be the donkeys. <laughs> Everybody loves donkeys, and it rhymes with monkeys. Win, win. Yeah. Thank you. I also love board games. But I hate playing old board games with trivia in them. Like my parents' Trivial Pursuit, all of the questions are out of date. Okay, Karen Young starred with Burt Reynolds in what 1986 film about a bodyguard? Who's Burt Reynolds? Time's up, the answer was Heat. Okay, the next category is typewriters and cassettes. <laughs> I think the worst would be if you found a Trivial Pursuit that was made in medieval times. Not only would the questions be out of date, but so would the answers. Okay, science category. What was the main cause of the Black Plague? Oh, I know this one. Um, that was fleas that were carried by black rats. Ooh, sorry, no, according to the card, the correct answer was blasphemy and the Jews. So, what? When was this game made? I love old people. I really do. But old people really struggle being politically correct sometimes. The other day I was with my grandma and she said, Will Smith is a good looking man. Oh, is that racist? Grandma, it's not racist to think someone's attractive. Oh, okay. I just never thought I'd think one of them was cute. Ooh! <laughs> grandma, that part was racist. <laughs> you started good and then, Jokes come to me at random times. Sometimes they're good, sometimes they're bad. However, I've learned if a joke ever comes to me in a dream, it's always bad. This is a true story. Not too long ago, I woke up in the middle of the night laughing my head off. I thought of the most brilliant joke. I wrote it down, went back to sleep. Next morning, I woke up really excited, but this is what I found. Give me pizza! <laughs> Anyone here into uh, cell phones or uh, communication? <laughs> Motorola made the first cell phone call in history. That's true. Anyone here know who they called? Their competitor, AT&T. Yeah. Talk about turning a milestone into a petty insult. <laughs> Can you imagine if everyone was like that? That's one small step for man. One giant kick to Russia's butt. Woo! Armstrong in the house. This is great. I can play a movie right here on this disc. Wow. What does DVD stand for? Die, VHS. Die! Okay. Mr. Columbus, we've discovered a new land. What should we call it? France sucks. <laughs> Merci. Thank you. Are you there? Are you there? Bryson Cole.